I love the sound of show 157. 156. Is it? Should we have done this show in Roman numerals? I don't even know what what is <laughs> it. It would be a uh, an L uh, V one. I got to be honest. Of the three of us here to know what the Roman numerals were, I don't know that I would have thought Steve would be the first to have I, it. I don't think that that's right, though. I think it is. <laughs> uh, L's fifty, and uh, and V is five, and one is one. Wait, it would be 150, right? C L V I. What? What's the C? C L V I. C is one. We need the hundred. Oh, I was and thinking the, you're going based 50. on just Super Bowl. I'm going yeah. based on Super Bowl. That's what I was doing. Yeah, no, yeah. I forgot to see. Yeah, we're at a hundred. Uh, none of us will be alive for show uh for Super Bowl 156. Hey, I might hey, be. Hey. Oh, there the chances are slim to none. You'd have to be a hundred and uh no, you'd have to be 110, 111. You'd be like 140. Me, yeah, I'm off the table. I'm no, the like table. Evan would be like 140. You'd be 400. What? I'm not that old. Can <laughs> we agree this is show 156, the Yeah, Come On show? I think yep. we can all agree, yeah. CLVI. CLVI. C for 100, V for 50, V, no. Yeah, what did I say? Yeah, C <laughs> for a, C for 100, L for 50, V for 5, 1. For six. There you go. 56. All right. It is show 156, and it is all about the Super Bowl. And boy, lots of different directions to go. I went to a soiree. I figure you guys were around people too. We did squares. I did my prop bets on Bavada, and turns out I did win one bet. Couldn't believe it. I won one. Gatorade. I, I, yeah, I got Gatorade. I got purple Gatorade. Uh, I, yeah. won six, I won $65. That's a good yeah. bet too. That was like plus 1600 yeah, so I just threw five dollars at it and uh, and won sixty five. Uh, everything else I threw five dollars out is dust in the winds uh, or threw at. Um, I literally bet on the coin toss, but I don't go heads or tails. I sit there and go, no, no, the team that chooses will lose the toss. Chiefs get the choice; they choose tails. It's tails. I've already one bet down. I'm like, God. And then I had the squares boys with four seconds left when they kicked that field goal. I lost the money. That was $125. I already had it in oh. my hand. That hurt. Oh. Steve, how are you betting this much when you don't have a job? Is That's the, the other. Yeah, the wife is uh is not happy with me today. Uh yeah. she didn't start talking to me till like an hour ago. And you by the, the way, on that uh barber's chair. I, I am gonna have to. I'm drinking Gatorade. Notice it's a small Gatorade. I can't afford the big can't one. Can't afford the big one. Yeah. Can't <laughs> afford the big one. Uh, still unemployed today. This is uh, this is unemployment day. What is today's day? Uh, how long have I been unemployed? Uh, this is not good. Uh, it's longer than I thought. Uh, keep in mind, I'm still within my 90 day non compete. Thirteenth, I got fired. Well, I didn't get fired. I got laid <laughs> off on December 2nd, but I got my last paycheck December 31st. So it has been 30, 43 days, 44 days without a job. But who's counting? Congratulations. Yeah, exactly, days. Evan. Who's counting? <laughs> 44 days without a paycheck. Oh, you know who counts? The wife. The wife. Dude, if it was me, I'd be out partying with y'all going, I'll get a job until then. Whoop, whoop. Let's take out some savings. Yeah. yeah. Like, what's your golf game like right now? sucky because i'm still like watching kids i'm in the kids zone man mm. and i'm coaching i just got done coaching basketball i've got baseball practice today at five o'clock i'm the assistant coach that's pretty good mm -hmm. now you got time <laughs> to assistant coach i'm coaching that's what are fun. the odds you get laid off from that oh, don't do no. that Brett. that first off that was mean thank you evan hold on <laughs> let's pause for a a a word slur dick <laughs> No, um, they actually, the moms got together and they watched me, uh, last week and I was great. And it was like a little kid that's just, just a four and a half and he was upset and he was leaving and the father couldn't console him and he had to go. And I ran up to him, talked him into coming down to run for me. We ran the bases. I ran beside him. I had the whole team give him a hug, said he's our youngest guy. Most everybody on the team's five. Everybody loved on him. And he stayed. And then my wife went to Auburn with one of the mothers. She's the hot mom, too. 
And uh, she was sending my wife text messages and going, your husband's incredible. All of us are over here talking. He has, Ah. he has to coach. So then the wife of the coach said, you got to get Steve as a coach. So here I am. Well, um, Hey, some sort of employment, right? Keep you busy. Yeah. There's no pay. I checked. I I asked. There's no pay. Uh, So I made $65, lost a bundle uh, picked the wrong team to win. Everybody's like, why are you wearing an Eagles sweatshirt? Because it is a sweatshirt that I purchased when I went to the Eagles versus Falcons game as a regular guy stunt on 96 rock. Ah. That would have been in the early two thousands. And, um, I sat in the 700 section wearing Falcon gear, uh, which those of you that don't know about Philadelphia, if you wear any gear other than the Eagles in the 700 section, which is where all the blue collar guys are. I mean, heavy blue collar, like never could afford to sit anywhere else. The Hellraisers, the ones that love their team dearly. Yeah. It's the Papali your- family, right? Yeah. The, the Papali like the movie. They exactly. all sit up there. They'll kick your ass. They'll at least pour beer on you. They'll call you names the whole time. You'll get hit in the head with popcorn or whatever they want to throw at you. When you turn around, there's 10 dudes and you're like, what are you going to do? You can't whoop all their asses. No. It's not like it's one guy. It's not. And if you hit the one guy, they're all going to jump you. Yeah. I mean, I saw their police were dealing with it last night. Mm -hmm. They're horrible people. They booed. They boo everybody. Dak Prescott's there getting getting the the, the nice award. The, yeah, the, the Walter the man Payton, of the year. Yeah, man of the year, and they booed his ass. <laughs> oh, hateful. it's so good though. It's so funny. Even you ever listen to radio in Philly? They trash their people, their team. They every, like the the really? worse you are, the more shit you talk in Philly, the higher your ratings are. It's insane. Oh yeah, they're just a horrible people, but they are damn loyal. They're they love their Eagles. There's no doubt. So I had that sweatshirt, so I wore it. The neighbor down the streets from Philly, he appreciated it. Uh, you know, so it was just two of us cheering for him. But I really thought they'd win by three, maybe six, and it went the other direction. But there's no doubt. You look at both quarterbacks, man. What a performance! I mean, great yeah, game. great game. Well, it was a great game until the very last. I mean. God, you hate to have what is a great game be decided by a ref call. Like, what the hell? I know, and everybody's on it, and they say the fix was in. I don't I don't know what to say. I don't, believe, I, I don't think it was fixed. I think it was just incompetent. I think it's way oh, it was to, a fix was stupid. stupid. No, I mean, come I'm on. conspiracy theorist on this. Here's my conspiracy. Tin foil hat time. That hit me. Pat Mahomes. Whatever you're about to say, by the way, I'm preparing our our, our listener audience for this. Way more bad shit than what you're picture, whatever you're picturing. <laughs> All right, Pat Mahomes. Who is he the spokesman for? Uh, I'll stay. I mean, I State, Farm. State, State Farm. Farm. State Farm. State Farm. Duh. Start State Farm. Yeah. Was the name? What's the name of the stadium in uh, Arizona that they played the Super Bowl in last night? State, State Farm. Come on, you're not. No you're going to say that this is not a coincidence? Yes. That's why they set him up to beat the Bengals in a bullshit game. Bengals should have been there, and then they propped him up to win again. And they injected him up at halftime because I thought his leg was broken in half. I thought his ankle was about to get ripped off. Thank you. Thank you. And guess what, what I and guess what I did there, gentlemen? And I was high fiving. I was like, I'm Nostradamus of sports because my draft king lineup, the one I spent fifteen dollars on for like six million, I literally put the the backup quarterback for KC in hoping wow. for an injury. And I thought I had it. I thought third quarter, here he comes, man. Give me in or whatever. You, Hearn or whatever his name is. Starts with an H. I bet him. And, and the next thing you know, Mahomes comes back out. And I'm like, no. I thought it was brilliant they heard him last play. I was like, yes. And then a guy at our party doubles down on the bet. Doubles down. He goes, oh, no. He's coming out. And they're going to oh, win. Oh, boy. And he doubled down. He made a fortune. I lost my ass. I was like, mm. See, here's the thing, though. I love how you say you won $65, but it's like, can you say you won if you consider yourself a loser after losing your bundle? I bet I I put 100 in Bovado. That's all I did. And I bet the whole 100 doing $5 bets. One bet I did $31 on. And then uh, the Gatorade thing, I just threw five bucks at it as the hell, you know, for the hell of it, picking purple because it was the long shot. And I happened to win that. Yeah. And they, they didn't even show that on TV, by the way. No. Which I thought was terrible. I had to Google it this morning because I was like, wait, why did I lose? It should have been a push. There was no Gatorade. I had orange. And I was like, 
what the hell is going on here? My biggest mm. hit of the night was uh, Rihanna coming out in pink and red at plus 800. I'm uh, That was your you biggest know. hit of the night? Mm-hmm. You got yeah. that? I wish you'd have called me. I bet I bet blue dress, and I, then I bet gold. And then everybody's telling me, and I agree, she's not going to wear the color of one of the teams. Oh, yes, yeah, she did. Oh, yes, yeah, she did. Uh, mm-hmm. I, Steve, I think you're – I said uh, mm. – See what I mean? Did anyone bet that she was going to come out pregnant? Uh, I knew no. if that was an option, I might have bet it. I yeah, bet diamonds. Actually, you would have. As what first about, song. What about all the woke people? We got some people at the old radio station I worked at, so I can bash their ass uh, down the hall. That radio station where it's like it doesn't get more woke with two or three people on the show. They're selling their souls for money. There's no way I would be. I would say any of the shit they say. You this shit can't even come out of your mouth. Brando, I don't even know. What we're ta- I don't even know what shit you're talking. I don't know what you're Here about we go. to say. They're right. saying they're saying don't shame her. They were saying if she's not pregnant, if oh. she's not, and she has still some of that weight. Look, I had a child two years ago, and I'm still carrying some weight. Yeah, my wife is heavier than she she was before babies too. You're right. Two kids take a toll. You got to bust your ass to get that back. But we've seen women all the time that do it, and who can do it? famous they already said last night she's a billionaire right you think a billionaire can't hire four effing trainers to take the weight off of her and they were going it's okay <laughs> it's okay to have fucking, baby weight fucking good point seriously it's okay that she has baby weight uh it's only been a year and then it comes out now nah, the chick doesn't have baby weight she's just pregnant again and nobody thought she'd be pregnant again so quick she is and that and then we're all like if she wasn't pregnant, would it be the lamest ever? But the fact that she was, was that being a good mom, being up in the air? I mean, that was risky. Risk your own life, not the baby. I, I was worried about that. That was one of my things was uh, like, if she's pregnant. Why is she doing that stuff? You can yeah. like. She's yeah. 60 feet up in the air. And you oh, can yeah. see like the camera, I'm guessing it was like a stability camera. Because she looked fine the whole time. But you could see the platform she was on was definitely rocking back and forth. Like It was not stable at all. No, no. And then can you imagine if she had taken a header? Oh, my God. You And then you, you take your, your baby out. If I was the husband or the father, does she have a husband? Or is ASAP it Rocky. Yeah, ASAP Rocky, yeah. All right, that's the husband. If I'm him, I'm like, no, 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 no. That's our baby. Get on the ground. Stay on the ground. Nix that. Mm-mm, mm-mm. But she did it. And it was okay. The chick's got great songs, but it wasn't anything that impressive. It is what it is, whatever. Were y'all bummed that there weren't any guests? Like, I was like, okay, who's yeah. going to come out? Who's going to yes. come out? Who's... And then it, it was just over. I feel because they usually do a guest or something for guys like Steve who don't give a shit about Rihanna, right? Someone that I, like... Yeah. Actually, actually, I like a lot of her songs. I'm not hating on her. No, no, I, mean, I didn't think you were. No, I'm strip hating... club music. We yeah, know you it love is. it. I love uh, strip club All right, club fair music. point. For people who maybe don't like Rihanna, though, they'll have like a Guns N' Roses or or Dave Grohl will come out and do it. Th- you know, something like that. I was expecting that. Nah, she took a Prince deal, man. She yeah, just yeah. she just did it. Would you, uh, do you guys like it? It was okay. It's not going to go down in history. Again, yeah. everybody, and this always gets sparks the conversation. What was the best? I think most people agree it was Prince. Michael I mean, Prince, Prince all time. I think Bruno Mars, like in recent memory, was really good. Was he, I don't yeah. think he was ever the main guy though. He's always been the yeah he was. Guest. No, he was the. I main thought he was. Guy he's once. been a guest like three times in the Super Bowl. I like Katy Perry. Katy Perry murdered it last year. Killed it with Snoop and you know Eminem. Yeah. Oh, Katy Perry everybody. had the the shark, the little shark. Yeah, the shark. That's why I still laugh about that every time I see that <laughs> shark. But last year's was just star studded out in L.A. So that one's going to be really hard to ever top. And the way they did the you know the stage and it was moving through, not like this year's, which was just a big promotion for apple that's all it was i know and then the outfits i'm you like know she was wow. standing at those platforms Did you guys know those were iphones yeah I they were iphones ca- i didn't mm-hmm. catch that and the stage was a uh, I- apple watch there you go i don't think i caught that either i'm, yes. I'm a stupid guy no, don't worry about it. It's not your fault. You're not paying that much attention. You're probably drinking. I give you a pass. And uh the dancers were you. a throwback to an apple commercial. I didn't know that. Uh but I will tell you, guess who's never paying for her phone ever? Rihanna, yeah. Rihanna's kids. Or her kids. Yeah, yeah, or her kids, kids. I bet she did a contract. She goes, Until my seed is gone, we will receive free phones forever. Eternity. I mean, that's I mean, a pretty sweet deal. 
I need a phone. I, I got like an it. iPhone seven. I still got the button. Oh, you should you, call Rihanna. You yeah, call Brett, you got to do something about that. Can we crowdsource a new phone for you? Jesus Christ! I know. I'm on a uh, I'm on a twelve, and I'm feeling ancient. Yeah, I'm a twelve guy. Because they're all what everybody's fourteen. I'm on a fourteen. I'm like, well, whatever. They sent me that little slip too that I can go ahead and buy another damn phone. But guess what? Twelve's working fine. Mm-hmm. Um, but imagine you know, what a seven's doing over here. I, it's doing the same thing that your damn <laughs> thing's four that, years old. No, it's the same thing as as your connection over there, your Wi Fi. It all it's all hell. It sucks. Brett will go out on us at some point during this show. Yeah, you got to pony up for some new Wi Fi, dog. Oh, new house is going to be new Wi Fi. The only thing Thank is, God. this neighborhood this is like the only option. It sucks. Yeah, I I know you're you're in an old neighborhood, and I respect it. It's better than the gangland neighborhood you were in before. True that. True that. True that. But the internet never dropped out at that house. Mm-hmm. Well, hell no, because they know that people would kill them. They're like, yo, man, lose the internet, you die, man. I don't Pretty know why much. I'm that voice, but that's what I chose to do as an interpretation, my own. Uh, I will say that the game is over. The betting is over. This is the saddest day for me. I don't know about you guys. I mean, I can dig some baseball, some basketball, some. I like basketball. I'm a basketball guy. But oh, then you're then you're you're loving it. But well, football's my number one. Don't get me wrong. I, I, you know that's yeah. It's tough. It's tough when you lose football, man. It's like good God, this is a sport drought for me. Well, until uh, March Madness for me, then I'll yeah. wrap back up. I'll give you that. I love October baseball. I like it when it's on the line. We all agree the baseball season's too long. The basketball, I am going to try to get into some basketball. That'll help. A uh, little golf. I'll, I'll enjoy that. NASCAR just cranked up. Can I get into that? It, it's it's tougher because there's no real names to me. I'm not into the drivers and all the cars look alike. So I don't know. Sports is uh, it's got to give us uh, some variety. Ba- baseball comes close, but football gives it to us doesn't it it gives it to us it's just yeah, every it's game is something so different important. that's right oh. that's the problem with like these other sports is that like there's hundreds of them yeah. i watch one basketball game i have no idea how the game the rest of the league is going i watch like one bears game where they win it's like oh shit we did we got one there you go of course right. of course the other side of that is if you're a fan of a crappy basketball team you're gonna pick up a few wins whereas if you're a chicago yeah. bears fan there's not that many to go around. But but basketball, like football, it's demanding on your body. The fact that they play as many games as they do, that's that's brutal. There's a lot of bumping out there, a lot of elbowing and stuff, but nothing. I mean, football, you've got to recover. Baseball, outside of getting hit by a pitch, why not play 160-something games? I mean, but if look at basketball, though. Like Evan was saying, you lose the game Monday night, oh, well. You're yeah. playing again Thursday. You're playing again Saturday. You're playing again maybe like the following Tuesday. I mean, in one week span, you might play four games. Mm-hmm. This is like like football. Every game matters. It does. Every single one. It, you can't you can't have an off game. You have to be on every single game, or else you end up with the first pick in the draft. <laughs> Which isn't bad. I'm not even going to get into that. We'll get there. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of quarterbacks floating around. Who's going to go where? Who's Chicago gonna... Bears number one pick of the draft, baby? Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! That's funny. You know what? And that was I, my shot. There you go. Well, good for you. Uh, it nice. was a shot well done. And yeah, the Bears do get the number one choice. Yeah. And how many Super Bowl wins did the Falcons have this year? How many did the Braves or the Bears have this year? I'm not saying any, but one of us has a top draft pick, and the other does not. We have the eighth pick. It's pretty yeah. good. Can we so, I mean, that? we were we're not far behind you. Yeah, this is the yeah, worst we, we, talking ever. <laughs> well, it's thirty-two teams. Come yeah. on, and we're we're eighth worst. I've I mean, got two that I I have two teams that I love, and they're both just awful dog shit teams. In my lifetime, I've seen both of these teams in the Super Bowl, and I have seen them squander this opportunity. Yeah. It's it's brutal seeing the Falcons blow too. I was like, you got to win one out of two. Come on, bro. That's what I'm Come saying. On. Uh, and I've seen all this social media lately, you know, going back to the 98, uh, you know, which I was there with Dan. Oh, Williams. yeah. And, you know, you're just like, oh, hell. I But that, that one, I understood. They played their hearts out to beat Minnesota. They had nothing left in the tank even two weeks later. Uh, but then the, the, the loss, I don't – I'll never know whose fault. I guess we blame Shanahan on the, uh, the loss to uh, the Patriots. I mean, it was just – I'll tell you this coach, much. Never going to go see this new 80 for Brady movie. 
No, God. Because I, it's no literally about it. going to the Super Bowl and watching the Falcons lose. Yeah, I can't yeah. watch it. I can't, can't see it. Can't. Can't. It's horrible. No team's ever been up that much and lost. I mean, we – damn that record. Damn. I mean, that's just embarrassing. <laughs> like, hey, you might as well blow it. And the shit – I still remember every phone call I made at halftime. Every one of them taunting they, they, you. I was gonna say you're like you're the reason we lost. You're the one who put the you cursed us. Thank you. My younger brother says the same thing. The second yeah. call, he goes, he got so mad at me. Why are you calling me, man? You He's us. right. Chasing us, and I'm like, I don't give a damn. There's no team in football that can come back. We won this, and I stayed. I put my foot on the gas, and I was Ooh. like, fucking Brady. So if we're looking at someone to blame. For the Falcons collapse. First, obviously, Tom Brady. Second, though, and not far behind, Steve Rickman. No, this is going to be a great statement. There's two people that have effed over Atlanta, Sherman and Steve Rickman. <laughs> that's, that's a really good statement. Yeah. That's the name of this podcast episode. I mean, those are the two. One burnt <laughs> it down and one blew our chances to win a Super Bowl. Damn. My fault. <laughs> My fault. Uh, anybody else got anything to add? Did anybody make any money based on bet? I bet. I did. Uh, I'm at 180 to win 65. That's where I'm at. Oh, no. Then Hold on. You got to add it all up, Brett. And then I got my squares were 50, 230, and I made 65. I don't know what I made. I do know I came out positive 30. Okay. But I had I had a couple hundred on the line, just like you did. You know, I had the squares didn't hit any of these. The ten dollar board, the twenty dollar board. No, I, I didn't do any of that. Yeah, and then I'm I'm a head gang all day, so I bet heads on the coin flip. Back to back years, I think I've missed. So is yeah. what it is. I wouldn't even um, do it next year. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't the one it. the one that I don't know how, and I've tried to look this up all day. I had the no drive, no scoring drive will be quicker than the national anthem. That was a good one. I saw and that. It, it said it missed, but I'm trying to find the oh. anthem was 121 seconds. Was there a drive that was longer or quicker than two minutes and one second? Uh, you know, the drive I think that did it is the one that cost me the squares. The final, uh, the field, the goal. final drive, the field. That's what goal. I think that, that did it because I can tell you right now, there was less, less than two minutes. And I, I was like, just don't score. Don't score anything. And then they make that long pass. And I'm like, no. And then I'm praying to God they miss a field goal from what, 25 out? That's not gonna happen. The biggest, the biggest gimme of the game, though, that I had was uh Travis Kelsey anytime touchdown. I had Jalen Hurts anytime touchdown. The one that sucked, I had Devontae Smith anytime touchdown, and he caught that one pass and then walks out at the two. Oh, yeah, line. that's like, right. Dude, punch this in. That's money in the bank. And then he yeah. didn't score. He didn't score. He didn't score. Yeah, saw that. That's that's brutal. The one I thought I had was, you know, usually these teams start out slow. They haven't played in two weeks. Not, you know, I mean, obviously they practiced, but that first drive of both teams, I said punt, punt. I bet on punt, punt, and that seemed pretty damn normal. Instead, they went touchdown, touchdown in the Super Bowl. That got it cranked up. I was like, shit. You know, there was no warm up. Both these guys went the whole way. First drive. Oh, yeah. and the, the gimme was the over. The over was easy. Oh. I did it, and I even bought it at 50 and a half. I, yeah, after I, the first few drives, it was like the over live was at 57. I'm going, oh, man, that's that's coin right there. If, if it's already shifted seven points, I'm good. Yeah, I should have done that. You know, and that's the thing people need to remember when you bet. If you're going to do some crazy stuff like I did five bucks on purple, you know, and then you happen to win, great. You know, you're not losing a lot, but you got to do the gimme bets. There's always two or three gimme bets, and that's where you got to work your get your money back. No three consecutive scores without the other team scoring. That's one that I always like. That's a fun mm -hmm. one. Yeah. And, and the one I, I only, I only did one, and the whole time, every, all my buddies were like checking. I was like, you know what? I think I'm old enough where, like, I need this to enjoy the game. I need oh, a little it makes extra. it way more fun. Because I, I only did the coin flip, which I won. And I think I've said on the show that I'm not a huge, yeah, sorry, um, asshole, not a huge betting guy, but I was also like, hmm, that felt pretty good. Yeah, I guess I would too. All right, coin what do we think of out the, of the way. I've won. Uh, yeah, good job. Good what job. uh, what do we think of the commercial game? Pretty weak, right? Weak, weak. weak. Avocado weak. commercial was funny. Yeah, I mean, there were a couple that I thought were like okay, but nothing, nothing stood out. There's the two no, B like, one where it like flipped away if you had a Roku. That was pretty good. 
Mm-hmm. It made you think uh, that somebody like messed with the remote. I didn't see that one. It may have only been for people using Roku. I'm not sure. Wouldn't that be funny? I don't know. I mean, yeah, because it went to like the home screen. I was like, oh shit. And then okay. it's still commercial. That was that was good. I know a lot of people really like that Miller Light, Coors Light, but it's actually Blue Moon. And people are like, how can you use this in this? I'm like, yeah. dog, you do understand Molson Coors owns like 50 different brands of beer. If it's not yeah. Anheuser, it's probably Molson Coors. Exactly. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that Procter & Gamble own Tide and Cheers in mm-hmm. detergents. I'm like, dude, they own them both. They think it's funny when they send you from one to the other. They don't care. Uh, well, right now that is uh, the stoppage of the Super Bowl, and we'll we'll say goodbye to Super Bowl 56. Will the Falcons be in Super Bowl 57? Uh-uh. Hmm. <laughs> I love our Atlanta Falcons, but uh-huh. I don't know. You know who I think will be in it, and I hate to say it, based on the uh, performance of uh, Hertz, um, I think Philadelphia's got a shot to be right back in it. Mm-hmm. I mean, and I'm no big fan of that team, but damn. I mean, they to lose, you played badass. I mean, that quarterback killed it, killed it. KC, not back. I don't see it. No, yeah. no, no. I'll bet Brett's life on it. No KC. All right. I'm willing to bet Brett's life on it. Okay. Cool. Can I bet Brett's life not on it? No, no. I no, sorry. We we both already we both already bet your life on it. So oh, that's two against three. Your life is yeah. on the line. If Casey comes back, <laughs> we'll, we'll find a new. There will be a producer opening. There will be. Uh, you <laughs> get to die. You know, you die on the show. Not in real life. You're dead. Yeah. You're dead. Your last show will be the day of the Super Bowl because we just put your life on the line. I'm only going to do that to you a couple of times a year. It's not a nice thing to do. Hey, I'm I'm down for this. I like gambling. All right, well, I, good. I got done with the damn game, and next thing I know, I'm sitting there firing off Masters futures. Look at you. But here's what I will tell you: if Alabama wins uh, the national championship uh, of college football, and the Cleveland Browns get into the playoffs, uh, that that will be. I'll give you two lives. Oh, wow. so are you guys turning me into a cat? Like the one thing I'm allergic to? Yeah, Pretty yeah, much. yeah. Pretty much. Those are your those two things have to happen. Otherwise, you're dead to me if the KC uh, gets into the Super Bowl for no reason. And I like you, but you know what? That's the way I roll. Evan, I'm gonna. Wait, uh, this I, is shit. All they have to do is get in. They've been to like what, like four of the last five AFC championships. I'm, I'm sorry, it's happened. There's nothing I can do. I don't even know why I said it, but once it's said on this podcast, it's uh, damn it, damn it. <laughs> Just uh, make me a cool tombstone. All right, I will. Mm. Something something sweet. Evan, I'm going to bet your life, but I'm going to do it on something weird like yeah, I get it. curling. I say if Russia <laughs> wins a medal in curling this year, you're dead to me. Steve, you, you brought me up into this world, and I think that's the least I could do for you is to let you bet my life on curling. Curling. I don't even know. They got some kind of world championships going. Those people don't just compete in the Olympics. They do stuff. Yeah. Uh, the show 156, the Yeah, Come On show, brought to you by OxygenFinancial.com, where none of us are sitting. We're all back in our homes. Uh, we will regroup. That is our home studio. That's also where Ted Jenkin is located. And I don't know if you get a chance, but uh, I watch the uh, – it's the jolt, right? The jolt. What do they do every day at noon? Wednesday. The, the midday jolt. It's the midday jolt. It's on Monday, mm-hmm. Wednesday, and Friday. If you get a chance at noon, check it out. Uh, it, it's good stuff. The Midday Jolt. Circle285.com, man. That's where you get a free quote. I just did it again because they say you should do it every two to three years just to make sure. They still put me with a, a company called Safeco. They're fantastic. Got an umbrella. They bundle it, home and car. All you got to do is give them your information. It's a free quote. Circle285.com. I swear to you, you could save money today. Check them out. Ridgeline Counseling, Dr. David Markwell. David Markwell, he will help you. He's a counselor. He will help you in person. He will also help you uh, on Zoom. So if you're still, you know, or masking up or maybe you feel sick, but you still want to talk to somebody, get a cold, get a hold of David Markwell. And that's it. What site, Brett? I love to do this to you. MarkwellTherapy.com. It's the way you say it. It's the way you say it. <laughs> Legends, yet yeah, come on bourbon whiskey. That's all I got to say. Be a legend. Drink it. Drink it. Wherever you get your liquor or beer, uh, go in there and ask for it. If they don't have it, tell them to order it. 
Joe B's. Joe B's. Uh, it's spelled just like it sounds. J O E B E E S. And Joe B's is B pollen. Uh, they have all kinds of specials. You can do a six month supply and get a month free. Uh, they give discounts if you do a year purchase, which is what I do. And B pollen is the jam. That's right. I said jam. I just brought that word back. 100% pure and natural. Uh, 100% no questions asked money back guarantee. How many people give you a product and all you got to do is say, hey, it's not working. And they give you your money back. That shouldn't be the reason you get it because B pollen works. See what it does for you. For me, energy, energy, like the energy I have to do this show being unemployed. And being in a um, a deep dark place right now. Well, what are you gonna do, right? Exactly. Uh, now we switch it to Brett Barney. Um, we're moving quicker. These shows are like 30, 35 I'm, minutes. I'm sitting here on the World Curling Federation's website. Evan, you're all good. Russia's not uh, even in the competition. Woo! It's yeah, amazing. baby. But now, we, have, they are underdogs now. No, they're yeah, they're like they're, they're not, not even in it. In it. No, it is okay. Uh, okay. Can- Canada, Czech Republic, Denmark, Finland, Germany, Italy, Korea, Netherlands, Norway, Scotland, Sweden, Switzerland, and the U.S. No Russia. Lucky now, you. Lucky you. So I you didn't pick check a the team? wheelchair I... curling championship. No, check that out. No, I, it, Russia popped in my head. Your life is on the line if Russia wins uh, in curling and Brett Barney and they don't even have to win. If Kansas City gets in the Super Bowl again, Brett is dead to us. That's <laughs> dead. The only difference is I think the wheelchairs, they've got China and Latvia, it looks like, are also in it. But no Russia. So, Evan, you're good. Woo! Evan, Evan all right. lives. And, Brett, I gave you two free spaces, all right? you got If Alabama <laughs> wins it all in college football or Cleveland gets into the playoffs, both give you a lifeline, all right? I just don't see it happening. I got to tell you. I don't see it happening. Nor do I. That's why this is a cold, cruel thing. Uh, there you have it. Uh, I want you right now, and I got to watch how I say it uh, in a minute to finish me off. Okay. But not yet. I want to tell y'all a little story. Deep story. I'd like to go back in time. I'd like to talk about when waterbeds ruled the world. That's Hell yeah. Waterbeds, where you went in and you got a waterbed. The year was 1986 and purchasing a waterbed was the coolest thing you could do you would get it and you could either get it uh ripple free or have ripples ripple is free they had like a mat in it or something like that where when you push down on it it just didn't rock there was no rock and there was no movement and you're like okay this is almost mattress borderline they had like baffles or something they put inside of it to keep it from moving me uh-uh I wanted weightless. I wanted to touch it. I wanted to be on the ocean. If you pressed your finger down on my bed, you saw a little wave go across it. And that means when you have sex on it, your rhythm has to be perfect. Perfect. And when you're hungover, you can't sleep on it because you will throw up. You will. So you sleep on the couch when you're throwing up and you have sex on it if you're a master of rhythm. Otherwise, you're on that same couch having sex. As a master of rhythm, I put my girlfriend on it at the time had one incredible i mean probably the nicest ass of any girl i ever dated and uh she was a bank teller and i met her uh doing door-to-door sales and she was laying out in her driveway basically ass shooting at me i still walked up shooting is the word we're going with yeah (laughs) i could see her butt her toes and her butt she was facing up the driveway i walked up and I literally tapped her on the leg, and I'm like, do I go below kneecap and touch her on the back of the calf or go thigh? There's some it? random woman in her driveway, right? You've never yep. met her. Never met her. And I got my I got my little thing. This is the – you should, and dude, I was killing it, and I was driving my red 1983 280Z. I had it parked where she could see it. Like, she was in the cul-de-sac, and I walked up the hill, and I tapped mid-thigh, closer to the butt than the knee. And she's like, yeah. And I said, hi, uh, do you live here? She goes, yeah, yes. And I said, well, we're doing free water testing. My name's Steve Brickman. I'm with Quality Water. And I would like to know if we could come in and do a free water test. Uh, It comes with a complimentary gift. Presentation is about an hour just to go ahead and let you know the quality of water in your home and what can be done if there's a problem. You know, just rattle that off. And she's like, well, it's my parents' house. And I said, well, you think they would want a free water test? She goes, no, no. And she looked at me and she looked down at my car. This is the old days. And she's like, 
uh, you could give me the test. And I'm like, well, is this your house? She goes, you can come in. I go in. Nobody's home. She's in her bikini covering half her perfectly natural C cup breast. I'm talking about the ass had a shelf on it. Literally. I was like, oh, I like oh that. My God. Oh my God. So hot. And I did the water test. And before it's over, she goes, well, I don't think I'm going to buy your system. She goes, but how about I, for your work? I buy you dinner. We were for your out. work for my work. She took me to Scalini's off Cobb Parkway. I know Scalini's went into Scalini's. We had some nice Italian food. We shared kisses, uh, with deep kisses. There was a make out in the car and a drop off the next night. She came down to my place on the south side where the waterbed was. Scalini's closed down. I'm sorry. I just, I'm sorry. Yes. I just don't mean to. Yeah. Scalini's is closed. I can't is believe this. Is, they closed in August. I can't believe this. I'm finding out. I mean, not that I had like uh, been there a lot of times no. or anything. Is no, no. I would go and they get pregnant or something. Yes. They had yeah. that. Uh, the, there was one meal that you went there. If yeah, if you were having a problem, having your baby. It was like the veal Parmesan or something. Something. Mm hmm. And they had the best uh, rolls. Oh, my God. And they had those curtains they'd close for privacy. I went there like three times for prom. I was like, it was <laughs> my prom place. So and That uh, was only junior year. <laughs> the third That's, junior year. Yeah. No, I dated girls from other schools. Bam! Hold it. Hold it. Okay, back. Nice. So, so I get her down to my place, my little condo down in Fayetteville, where I was living with a guy named Barry. Barry Sams. That's right. I said your name. And we get in. Shout out, Barry. Yeah. And I had a bedroom, literally a bedroom. I had a California King waterbed that was uh, eight feet by like nine feet, including the boards. My room, 11 by 12. It was a bed. Jesus, dude. The whole room was my bed. I had a room for a small dresser. You would walk into my room and you had to start walking on the bed. Now's not the time I'm doing a podcast. So I sat there and I put her on the bed and clothes off. And I'm like, oh my God, it was like heaven on earth. Oh, it was. And we're going and we're rocking. Then I realized I'm riding with a Bronco rider. This chick flips me on top, rocking it. And we are at perfect pace. And the water bed's going, kawam, kawam, kawam. And this is about the fourth time I'd set it up because I moved places just once a year and did one year leases. I lived off of uh, two different places off Holcomb Bridge. Now I'm down in Fayetteville. I set it up once in Stone Mountain and I thought one screw was enough. It wasn't. Wham! The board pops off. The bed spills out. She falls back in my 12 speed Schwinn that was leaning against the wall. Cause it's the only place I could put it. Cause I like bike riding fell on top of her. She picked the bike up while staying, you know, on top and slung it to the left. And the bike goes crashing, finished the job. The only problem is when it hit the bed, it put a little hole in the bed with the pedal. I had a hole in my water bed and it was starting to squirt. Before it was over, I used a full thing of paper towels, a couple of towels before I figured out how to work my patch kit and I patched it. And that is huh. the legend of the water bed. Steve, did you ever see that movie Licorice Pizza? No. You should make it a point to see that. There's a lot about water beds in that movie. And I was thinking about the entire time. Okay. It's great. Great movie. Oh, I, now it makes sense why you have such a strong core. <laughs> like you were doing like sexual Pilates your entire prime. Yeah. I had no idea, dude. I was ripped. I had like a 12 pack and I was like, my God. And it was from doing that kind of stuff. I should get a waterbed now. Let me tell you the cool thing about a waterbed on a winter's night. All you need is a sheet, man. You heat that waterbed up to whatever temperature, like 75, dude. And it is fantastic who wants to sleep on a sauna that sounds awful oh it was like, so Jesus. good i wish they'd come back in style i really do but the waterbed is dead i will say one thing about waterbeds because i had friends that had them and cousins and whatnot the whole room smells like rubber a little yeah, oh, it, gives, yeah. it gives the, the a little funk comes with that room like a swimming pool like the yeah, uh like going yeah. In, yeah, in, yeah. Indoor, yeah. indoor pool i got you mm -hmm. i agree with that you know why because you got to put chlorine inside it to yes. kill off the, for the water otherwise so it, it gets fungi nasty fungi? So, 
fungi and draining it is a God given hassle. Oh my God. My roommate one year, we were living in a two story in uh, conifer crossing apartments at Peachtree corners. He hung that son of a bitch out the window and just let it gush. And he was sitting there. I mean, cause we couldn't get the drain to work. He goes, yeah. oh, they're just, they're brutal, man. And setting them up is brutal, but there you go. Huh? That was my story. Was, her name was Stephanie. If you want to believe she's changed her name, Stephanie B. I'll leave it at that. Stephanie okay, B. yeah, we'll just leave it there. And now I'll let you guys finish me off if you're ready. Oh, uh, yeah. Let All right. It. Mars Wrigley find after workers fall into blank. Mars Wrigley find after workers fall into chocolate. Wait, wait so Mars Wrigley f- find. So the company, oh, Mars find. Wrigley, they were fine after no, workers like, fell okay, into. Okay. Oh, they fell into a vat of nuts. Oh, damn it. That was what I was going to say. Uh, vat they of fell, nuts. They fell into the package wrapper thing, and all the guys got wrapped up like Hershey's Crunch Bars. <laughs> uh, they fell into, Steve, you had it on the first one, a vat of chocolate. chocolate. Ah. Vat of chocolate. Now, here's the, the thing in my mind. Imagine walking into work the next day. You know, I guarantee you that's one of those places. They have the thing on the wall, like, a thousand days since you know last yeah. workplace. No, incident. no, now I'm it's picturing back to zero. This was a group of kids who were on a tour, and one of them got Augustus he told, Klooped? He was told yes. not to, right? Right. The, next thing you know, they're gonna be fine for some girl blowing up into a blueberry, you know, like <laughs> I mean, I it happens. Say, the way to go would be falling into a vat of chocolate like that. Like, Steve, if we can decide if the Chiefs get back in the Super Bowl and I'm going out <laughs> anyway, I'll take that of chocolate as my A1 death scenario. All right, that that's cool? it, because you're right. That first mouthful, I guess, imagine when drowning, when you go to breathe in, you're like, and all that comes in, yeah. lungs fill. Yeah, I'm telling you, chocolate would be better than I'm not going to lie. I would try and eat my way out. You have to. There's a lot of situations in life where you might have to eat your way out. That is one of them. I'm always saying. You never give up. Never give up. Never surrender. All right. Bird crashes Daytona wedding and bird Uh, crashes Daytona (laughs) wedding. And 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 gets married in place of the husband. And craps on the bride. Damn, Steve, you're on a heater. Poops on bride during vows. Let's see if you can keep it rolling. McDonald's agrees to take down Mick Crispy advertising billboard that was erected next to. Yeah. McDonald's agrees to take down Mick Crispy advertising billboard that was erected next to an uh, Irish pub, a tanning salon, local oh, crematorium. Shit, Damn it! It came to me right before you said it. <laughs> ah. I thought right. you might have gotten that one. Evan. I thought right, right as you were about to say it, I was like, "No, it's a crematorium." Fuck. I do like tanning salon. That wasn't bad. No, tanning salon is what made me think of it. Right. But t- no, tanning salon is is good. All right, last one. A man in the U.S. got prostate cancer. It made him start speaking with the dead English accent. Damn, Steve, almost an Irish accent. Oh, Damn, he got prostate. You guys, you guys have been reading too much Reddit. Yeah, no, we, no, I, I, I'm, I'm keeping up on the news. That was it, dude. I was just guessing, guessing. I'm not reading any news until I have a reason to talk about it. Well, you're going to trip out when you find out about this train derailment in Ohio. Okay. I don't know. Have you guys seen this? No. No. This train derailed in Ohio and spilled all these chemicals and like all these like farm animals started dying. They're like not letting the media in or anything oh. like this. It is, it's like a plot out of a freaking movie. And it's I want to like, say yeah. that they actually had a movie filmed in this same place where this has happened and it's this it's wild dude it's like the ground's probably saturated it's getting into the water i mean it's going to be horrible man or like the u.s like we shot down three ufos this weekend oh i know and they're like talking what's going on the news is awesome and the pilots are even saying different things. One pilot's like, yeah, it messed with my navigation. One pilot said it didn't. One pilot said it shouldn't have been at that altitude. I saw no moving parts or something this or that. It's like, is it futuristic? Is it a new weapon? What is it? What? Dude, if we meet aliens this year, I'm going to be so excited. I you, I'll, you, I will bet my life that we don't see aliens. <laughs> All right, you okay? Your your life is bet. If we got both of you, so Evan's on, off of Russia and on. I'm off aliens. Russia and I'm on to aliens. Yeah. Okay, there you go. But here's the thing: if, if they're here, I want them on as a guest. So y'all got to book that. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Well, I, you, I might not be around, but I'll be like Evan. <laughs> damn, you need to go sacrifice yourself. In yeah, front we of got Evan. it's Brett Barney, your co-host, and Gold Silzax, your co-co-host. Yes. There you go. We lost him. 
We lost him. He had to kill himself. Yeah, and you're man. right. Show 156, the Yeah, Come On Show, is brought to you by me, Southside Steve, your host, Brett Barney, your co-host, and your co-co-host, Life on the Line guy, Evan Brandonicio, otherwise known as Brando the Dead. I don't like being described as life on the line guy. Like, sorry, that was gives you a lot of anxiety. Okay, stop. Take that. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll lift that off. I'll lift that off. All right, I gave Brett two the saving graces. Yours will be, <laughs> um, yours will be the Hawks get into the playoffs. Oh, All that's right, a yeah. gimme. That's such a gimme. What bullshit? They've been in the playoffs like the last four years. Shut up, Brett. I need this. I'm just trying to help. I don't want to see him kill himself in front of, you know, because I think alien, this could be the year. This could be the year. It could and, be the year. And this podcast will deliver you an alien. We will speak to them. We'll, we'll die trying. Hey, what, what how do you think an alien would say? Yeah, come on. <laughs> All right, everyone. Can, can Steve get up? <laughs> I have no idea. That's the show. Life on the line guy.